What's going on everybody? Welcome to part 19 of our Intermediate Python series. In this video and the kind of coming videos, uh, we're going to be talking about basically, one, very broadly, how everything in Python is object-oriented. So whether or not you're writing object-oriented programming uh, code, whether or not you're writing a class or whatever, everything you're doing is an object and, and you're dealing with objects. Um, but more specifically, in this one, and for sure the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about the a special method or a magic method, and even more specifically, operator overloading. So uh, this is the code that we're uh, starting with. It's basically the same thing that we've been building up to this point, although I did make a couple of changes. Um, I'll go over them in a moment, but I'm just going to say where you can get the code. You can go to pythonprogramming.net. Um, come down to the fundamentals here and then in the intermediate Python series you can click on that come down to part 18 it'll be after de or 19 rather it'll be after decorators it's not up yet because I haven't done it I'm filming it so anyway it'll be there though and you can click that and you can copy and paste the code if you want or you can make the changes um, they're very subtle and small really all I did majorly was uh, add green blob so add a, a, a class for green blob, it inherits from blob, which we already discussed. Um, but the other thing I did was remove passing of color. That was kind of silly to pass a color to the, the blue blob class. It should just be a col the color blue <laughs> all the time. So that was kind of stupid. Um, so what I've done here is just hard coded that color. Again, you could also pass a constant. Um, I just chose not to uh, for inheritance sake, just in case you wanted to import this or something. Um, anyway, yeah, when we pass it here, we're not passing a color. So I made those small changes, and now with green blob, we are calling green blob here. Uh, we can run it, and we get the blobs as expected. Cool. Now what I want to do is begin adding um, interaction between these blobjects. <laughs> anyway, um, and what I'd like to be able to do is say, okay, when a, a, green, a blue and a red blob come into contact, wouldn't it be nice if we could just say, let's say you've got a blue blob, that's a blue blob object variable name for now, um, and then you've got a red blob object, wouldn't it be cool if we could just say like plus, right? Because that's what's really happening. They're combining, they're, they're banging into each other. We want to be able to use plus, okay? So that's what we're going to do. And <clears throat> when we do that, uh, we're going to have to define a, a method that will handle that that uh, that sum that add operation. And to do that, we're going to use that's going to be that's a form of operator overloading. You can overload all of the operators that you could possibly use: um, assignment operators, comparison operators, and so on. Okay, you can overload all of them. You can also overload obviously the plus, the minus, the multiplication and division, all of them. You can overload all of them. Today, we're just going to do the plus sign. And what's cool is, as you'll see, the way that we do it is it's, it'll be unlike any other method. <laughs> um, it's just, it's just, it's cool. So anyways, let's get started. So to do it, it's a magic method, a special method. It's dunder add. So define dunder add. As always, we have to pass self. But when you have an add operation, you're adding, you know, you've got one thing plus something else. It'll be that second parameter, whatever that is. And that, in our case, should be another blob, right? We're going to add blobs together. In theory, it could be something else. Um, but for now, let's just say it's a blob. Great. So now, basically, it could be any of a handful of blobs, right? right? It could be a red blob, a green blob, or a blue blob. So we need a handle for each of those. And also handles in case it's none of those um, because maybe someone doesn't understand how to properly use this um, this method so so let's do that so let's say um, if other blob dot color equals and let's say let's start if it's a red a red blob so two fifty five zero zero if it is that we're gonna say self dot size minus equals other blob dot size and then we're going to say other blob.size minus equals um, self.size. So in this case, self is the blue blob because this is pertaining to the blue blob class. We're not going to add <clears throat> an add method or, um, to any of the other classes. It's unnecessary. We don't need to. Um, 
eventually you, you might, um, but the <laughs> the protagonist of our blob story is just the blue blob. Like, that's the main character, okay? So that's really who we care about. The other ones, you could say you might have a scenario where the green blobs need to be able to be added to red blobs, and we need to figure out how to handle that. Um, we're just not going to handle that because we're just going to say green blobs don't interact with red blobs. They only interact with blue blobs, and red blobs don't interact with green blobs, and so on. It's just interaction with the blue blob. So in this case, just to be absolutely clear, um, it's not really specific to this method, but when you do something like this, like keep in mind that self.size is being modified in place here. Well, not totally in place, but sort of. Um, and once you've done that, then we're subtracting size. So we're not subtracting the original size of that blob when they came into contact. We're actually subtracting that size after we've subtracted the size of the red blob. So really, if the red blob is larger than the blue blob, it's lights out for the blue blob, and he's not really going to do any damage to the red blob. So keep that in mind. Um, and in fact, it, it might act, it, in the, it could even add to the size of the red blob. <laughs> anyway, you want to think about these things. We're trying to make just a really simple method here. Um, so I'm going to keep it the way it is, but just know this might not actually be what you intend to do. So pay attention to little subtleties like that. Okay. So anyway, elif other blob dot color and in this case what if it's green well if it's green um, we're gonna say self dot size plus equals other blob dot size no problem and then we're gonna say other blob dot size equals zero that's it for green now we need to handle if it's a blue blob so we might say other blob dot color equals and then zero zero two fifty five if this is the case for now, we're going to pass. We're just going to say right now, blue blobs don't do anything with each other. Now, if none of these are hit, someone obviously passes a color that isn't one of these three colors. <clears throat> so if that's the case, we're going to say else, and we're going to raise an exception. And the exception is going to say, uh, try to combine one or multiple blobs of unsupported colors. Okay, so that is our dunder add method, and now we're ready to add blobs. We can already do it, but now we actually need to have some sort of logic <laughs> that is going to actually add these blobs. But you you could you could add them. So um, let me see. Where are we actually? So we create it. We're creating them here. Um, I just want to real quickly show you a blob getting... We're just, I'm just going to comment this out. You can either follow this or just watch if you want. Uh, so we've got green blobs and blue blobs. So now what we can say is blue blobs and their IDs will be... Um, or their keys are just numbers. So we'll just say blue blob zero plus... Uh, let's do blue blob zero plus red <clears throat> blobs zero so we're gonna say they boom they both come into contact first we're gonna say as well uh, blue blob size red size dot format and then let's take this blue blobs this is supposed to be red we'll change that um, and also it needs to be uh, dot size blue blob zero and then red blobs zero dot size size and then we'll just copy paste and we should see a change right so uh, this is black just because we never displayed anything but here is whoops here is the, the original information the blue was a six the red is a seven it was subtract seven was subtracted from six boom you got negative one and red ended up gaining a size because of what we actually <clears throat> caught before. So if blue is a negative size, you subtract a negative, that's adding. So it actually got a little bigger. <laughs> so um, it consumed a blue a little bit. So um, anyway, that's how it works. We can see it worked on, those, on the um, objects. But we need to come up with code that will logically do this rather than just doing it as we explicitly call it. So we actually need to come up with code that will 
uh, detect when two blobs have collided. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial is actually detecting that collision. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever up to this point, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.